Dilla, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are not live. But you can leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Right behind me, you see it? This is a little warning screen just in case. Don't forget, twitch.com is where you can catch any of the live streams. Username's at the bottom of the screen. Don't forget, we also got Patreon. We post five days a week. Right now, we got Wendell again, man. Salute to Wendell, man. I, I, I always like to see people's ascension into greatness on YouTube. Boy, it's on a, a legendary run. Um, this is his London's roughest pub crawl. You want to London got rough pub crawls? Talk to me, I guess. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational, or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. No copyright infringement intended. All rights belong to their respective owners. So many people have told me to come to Croydon and I checked it out and indeed that place had problems. But in the comments to that video, many of you said, Wendell, Croydon's not the most dangerous place, there's many other dangerous places. So I asked you, I said in a poll, okay, I'll come back, what is the most dangerous, what's the roughest place in London? And you guys... Honestly, you should just do a whole London, a London tour. Because this is where it's going to be busting at. Unanimously voted in a poll for the Tower Hamlets Borough of London. So I've come back, I've invited a friend because if it's as dangerous and rough as you tell me, then I'm going to need some protection. We're stronger as a pack of two. So we're on the tube, we're going to get Ooh. off here at Bethnal Green, the start of the Tower Hamlets Borough. We're going to meet our mate for the day and we're going to have a lad's day out in the roughest borough in London. Let's go. Straight out of the Bethnal Green tube station and I'm met by closed roads with police line. I'll show you that in a second. But first of all, I want to introduce you to my security for the day. This is Danny from the YouTube channel, ah. Honest Places. How are you, mate? Not too bad, yeah. yeah. Honest Places. This is named Danny. So I like his content too. He'd be going to the pubs and things of that nature. I like that. I like, I, 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 I reacted to one of his videos. Thought I'd bring some uh, muscle along with me, some northern muscle yeah. to keep me safe. What's going on here? Well, that was a nice start. Please, uh, please cross line here so I'll see what's kicking off here. Let's see what's going on. How are you? How are you? You alright? Yeah, yeah. yeah. What's, what's Bethnal Green like? I don't know what happened there. I want to go this way. I'm shopping there. I, I'm thinking maybe they want to catch the people who are the illegal people, maybe like that. Okay. I'm thinking okay. if you go this way, they'll uh, yeah. ask your details where you live. Okay. Yeah, everything. Yeah. You need to bar everything. I'm all above board, mate. I'm, I'm not illegal, so. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I'll, go, I'll see, what, see what's going on down here. I've come straight over the tube station and you've closed the road on me, sir. That's an ominous sign. Something's definitely kicking off. I hope something's kicking off. So, so Danny, you. check his channel out. It's called Honest Places. He goes around Britain. He goes to some of the rougher states, rougher towns. And he goes to the pubs, the pubs that probably you and maybe me are scared to visit. And he goes in there as a pint and shows you what the places are like. Can you yeah. tell me what's going on? I can't say much at the minute. It's not been released. God damn. Who's <laughs> this officer? Listen, ma'am. First things first, my name is the lit one. Respectfully, I love a woman in a uh, uniform. Um, how are you? You know what I'm saying? How's the job treating you? Are you having any troubles? Not saying that I will get to the bottom of them, but I'm just trying to tell you. I'm just trying to have a little small talk with you. You hear me? It's the media, but, okay. um, yeah, it's just an incident that happened last night. Yeah, okay, yeah. 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 Like a violent crime incident, so? Uh, it's just an incident. An That's incident. Say at the minute. Yeah. yeah. You're very good at keeping your, uh, <laughs> keeping your information to yourself. What's yeah. the area like? Like, is it safe in general? Yeah. I'm not going to hold you. This officer is top It's tier. not too bad. Yeah. It's a good little area. Sir, we don't want to talk to you. Not my fault. I, I, I can't have this personally. Okay, mate. Um, like, like you say, it's very diverse. Um, like you say, you have got like little snippets. Thank you very much. Uh, little snippets, obviously, where you get your gangs or whatever. But you're going to get that 
all over London. You know, each part is completely different. That's what I want to so, say. I want to compare and contrast. So you can go over to like the Isle of Dogs, which still comes under the Tower Hamlets, and it's like all the tall high rise for like all the business, uh, like all the suits and boots go up there, and and then obviously you got down here. And it's just obviously your, your everyday person. But that's more like that, that's like a little mini central London. But as soon as you step on the Isle of Dogs, it feels like a different place. But it still comes under Tower Hamlets. Yeah. So there's like quite a few different places to like that. That's okay. one minute you're in Tower Hamlets, it's like a normal street that you'd, you'd say is a, your everyday street, and then you just cross the road, and then you're into like big tower blocks, and yeah. which is which I find quite interesting personally. Tower Hamlets is made up quite a lot of uh, Bangladeshi community. Yeah. Um, and then you go over to Stoke Newington. You've got like, uh, like a totally different ethnic group over there, and it's, yeah, I love it. It's so it's just, a massive yeah. cultural melting oh, pot. Massive, it's brilliant. What do you think, Danny? Straight out of the tube station. Like Closed streets there. everywhere. Serious incident that they can't tell us anything about. And when I say it sounds like Chicago, um, there's a lot of different cultures in Chicago. Chicago is super segregated, it's highly segregated. So when people call stuff a melting pot, mm, there's a lot of different cultures there, but they're not melting. They're in their own communities. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like it's the same type of vibe. I could be wrong, but... Is this an ominous sign for our visit to Tower Hamlets? Yeah, I felt safer in the States in Hull, to be fair. <laughs> uh, and they're pretty ropey. But first time in London, yeah, it's not, it's not a great start, but that's what you get when you go to rough areas, I suppose, isn't it? it smells like Amsterdam around here, <laughs> for the lack of smell of vision. Like you gotta be careful when they're doing these cutscenes like this. You know, somebody could be lurking and snatch. Yeah, we haven't got the best weather forecast for today's filming session, but we've got a break, quite a decent break in the rain at the moment. Which is a great excuse to get into a pub in it when it rains. It's a bit early at the moment, mate. It's never too early. Will Let's I be open? Let's go and get a few cans of Stella, be alright. Jeez. This really is a lad's day out it's in London's yeah. roughest for yeah. Danny, mate, all this vlogging in Tower Hamlets is making me hungry. Window, window, I'm talking to you, window. When I get there, please link me. Cause oh no, we're going somewhere. I just don't want to go by myself. Not because because of the area or because I'm scared, but because that's your wheelhouse. Like let me take you. Not saying that I can keep you, you know what I'm saying? Not times saying that I got some type of clearance, but the mandem, we could go somewhere. We could really go somewhere. That you could probably think of, and that you that you like, man, I ain't going there. <laughs> but they will allow it. Come on now, window, let's do it. Unfortunately, there aren't many places to eat apart from kebab shops and fried chicken. Looks like we're gonna have to have a kebab, mate. Let's get it done. Now, as you know, I'm on a one-man mission to document what real life is like here in Britain. What is this? You know, no offense. I get it. Salute to your uh, Hello Fresh. You know what I'm saying? But you know, at over 34 percent, Tower Hamlets has the largest percentage Bangladeshi population in England and Wales, and at nearly 40 percent, the largest population of Muslims in an area in England and Wales. And you can see here, underneath the pa Palestinian flag showing support to the cause of the Palestinians, that the street names are repeated in Bengali as well, which tells you how much of a Bangladeshi area this is. I made a video a month ago in Croydon, yeah. and a lot of people, because there's a lot of knife crime in Croydon yeah, and things like that, place, really rough area. a lot of people said Croydon's not that rough. I thought it was quite rough. Yeah. And then nobody has ever said in my comment Croydon is not rough. They said you want to check out Tower Hamlets because there's a lot of crime there think, and it's rough. I think it depends um, who you are, for example. So you guys might not expect. Listen, London is looking real undefeated right now. She's not better than a cop, but hey, listen, if we, I'm, listen, I'm not comparing. I'm not here for that. Let's go. Something I might, maybe the way I look or the way I come across is like you detract different sort of people, if that makes sense. Like, I could walk through somewhere and people my age might think, hmm, but with you guys, maybe cause like, um, it could be anything, dress, the fact you're not round here, they're not gonna, they won't, might not treat you like that the same way, if that makes sense. Yeah. Cause That's even though I live here, I don't get treated with complete respect. Does that make sense? 
to be honest with you guys, I felt like an outcast most of my life around here as well. I don't want to get into the race side of things, but I feel like a, I feel like a minority around here. Um, I feel like my rights have never been put first as a British citizen. That's just how I feel. I've always been second best living around here. Yeah, and that's just it's a constant struggle. Yeah, yeah. Well, the, the area, to my understanding, has got like nearly a forty percent Muslim population. Yeah. Yeah. Um, is that about accurate? What I've read. Um, yeah, it's. To be honest with you, if I would probably say higher, but um, it isn't genuinely a bad thing. You just I don't people like us feel outcasted a lot of the time because um, we don't have the same traditions as them. Or and you, there's I've met many Muslim people that are lovely, but I also feel like. Um, their way of life is a little bit different to our way of life, if that makes sense. Of course, yeah. Their beliefs, and I guess it kind of clashes with ours. And um, Do you think there's some friction in the society a, a between the communities sometimes? Yeah, like I watch someone from Manchester that does a similar sort of thing. I'm guessing you guys are all there. Charlie Veach. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's I'm, the, not, I'm not as full on as Charlie Veach, yeah. but we all know who he is, yeah. Yeah, that's probably the reason I... Yeah, I don't watch, I, I've watched some Charlie Veach, right? I, one... I had to stop to speak to you. Yeah, yeah. Because that's someone I'd go home and watch over night time, man. It's just real life, real yeah. people. So many people make content that is sugar-coated. Yeah. You know, I'm not, there's no narrative to what I do. Yeah. I just walk up to people on the street. This is real Britain in 2024. Yeah. I walk, you know, if I see somebody just knocking around, obviously this precinct is shut today because it's a bank yeah. holiday. Well, I'll come and talk to you, you know what I mean? Yeah. People told me that this was a really rough, dangerous yeah. borough of London. Yeah. Do you think that's an accurate thing? To be honest with you, I would say yes, but... We, we can all make personal decisions that um, affect that, if that makes sense. No, no cap, man. When I was in Chicago. It, it, you know, this is why you got to choose where you live. Like I told y'all, everything is classed as a, as a, as a melting pot. Oh, the city is going to class it as a melting pot. But it, on paper, it looks like a melting pot to somebody that's not familiar. But, but like when you really in the neighborhoods, you know. It's only this specific group of people in this neighborhood. So, of course, you're going to feel like an outcast because this neighborhood not for you. <laughs> like, that's 100%. When I lived in Chicago in a couple of neighborhoods, the neighborhood was not for me. You know what I'm saying? Like, there is diversity within neighborhoods, but you got to find those neighborhoods. You got to seek those neighborhoods. And those neighborhoods are really probably sometimes more expensive. You know what I'm saying? But where I live... It was all Latin. Of course, my my traditions are not in line with, but you know, I love my Latin culture. I'll be out there doing my thing. You know what I'm saying? I can pretty much mesh with anything, and I never, I'm never overly offended. And I'm not taking, I'm not taking, excuse me, I'm not taking offense to really anything. You know. And so there's things that we could all do um, to stop that, if that makes sense. As I said, I feel like I might have more trouble than you guys because uh, I've grew up around here. My face is a bit more known. Um, and as I said, I feel like the way I dress and whatnot brings a sort of... Facts. The way you come across. That's always a factor when people are doing the tours and they're like, oh, yeah, they say this. It's not that bad. Well, you know what I'm saying? You're not the target audience. They're not targeting you. You know what I'm saying? They know. <laughs> Even tattoos and things like that, some people yeah. don't agree with that sort of stuff. But um, I think it is more based on who you are, to be honest with you. Like, um, I could have someone my age that I grew up with, as I do have mates around here, and they haven't gone through half the stuff that I've basically gone through around here, if that makes sense. Yeah, they do. Uh, so you've had a bit of like a rough yeah, journey yeah, to this gonna, point. I'm not going to get into things. But yeah, yeah, don't things, expect you to. But Things have been rough. Um, and yeah, I'd admit more so because uh, I feel like I am a minority, so it is a bit more of a struggle than if I grew up in another borough. I feel like you could um, mi mix, I could fit in more. And I, d I don't really want to get into it, but as you guys probably know, I'd find it harder to find accommodation to someone maybe that has just brought a child into the world or I think the way the... Well, yeah, the, the system that's set up over there, it's not, it's not in favour. It's here too. It's not in favour of healthy young men that can go get it but are choosing not to and i'm not saying that's his case but of course if you have a child you just brought a child into the world woman they're gonna give priority to a child <laughs> um well, that's a fair point mate yeah the yeah. way um people uh base um what do you call it you see how housing it has a 
they do it based on who's more um, in need, I guess you could say. I think the way the country does that is a slightly unfair as well, slightly. Um, I don't like, I don't like bringing country or race into it. I do feel me being a British citizen, I've always been put second. Look how friendly the locals are yeah, here in Tower Hamlets. So do this young lady. I'm not gonna lie, man. I, I feel like, and this is with, with the whole benefit thing going on over there, right? Housing, right? It goes, somebody in need, if you have a child, you're put first, right? And then if you're in, if you're vulnerable, you're put second. And then if you're old, elderly, no, it's not even el like an elderly woman or elderly couple, like maybe you put third. And that's regardless of race, right? Anybody who's able-bodied and young, you're not going to be able to get housing. You're not going to be able to get these things that are allotted to people who are, you know what I'm saying, that, that I just named. Bro is young, looks able-bodied, like... I don't know. <laughs> has offered her umbrella because Danny is looking a little bit moist under there. <laughs> I've got a hood, but I just can't be bothered with it. <laughs> Only some of us. That way. And down the alley down there. Yeah. Do you live around here, do you? Yeah. What's it like as an area? I'm making a video. Uh, she ain't what that. People told me it was a really dangerous place to come, but it's a rough borough. Is that true? Yeah, yeah it can be as rough as, as, as anywhere can be. Do you know yeah. what I mean, guys? Yeah, I was born and bred around here as well. Okay, yeah. And don't get me wrong, it's a terrible, it's a very dangerous place, it's a very poor borough, yeah, but very good people as well, do you know yeah. what I mean? Very diverse for a uh, high yeah. Muslim population as well. Yeah. Have you seen it change a lot over the years? No, because no, we've grown up and we've grown up alongside Muslims and people, and to be honest, you know, I've never seen really a problem like in that way, you know what I mean? Okay, we've mate. We've got a long feet flying around here, you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Maybe before our generation it was a bit different because I know they, that they had a lot of problems, you know what I mean? With a lot of racism back then, but when we grew up it was a lot different, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, how would you sum up Tower Hamlets, like in a nutshell, 2024? Well, I'd say that like, it's, it's, it's a lot better than probably it was, like, as in with people for each other. My boy is probably 27, and this lady is probably 26. Drugs really age you. They age you far beyond. I bet you they both would clean up and look super young. Cover now, but it's still poor, still rough. Walking down Whitechapel Road, the Whitechapel markets here are incredibly vibrant, buzzing. You don't see this, Danny, in many of the uh, nice. smaller towns I, like I go it. to around the country, especially when you go up north. A lot of the markets are dying off. I try and go to these more than Tesco and stuff like that. Cheaper, and it's always fresher, and you're sporting local, aren't you? Yeah, it? yeah. One thing that is good about the multicultural communities here in London is the vibrancy of the street sellers, street yeah, food, exactly. small shops and so many market stalls you can see down Whitechapel Road here. <laughs> so this is the Blind Beggar pub, which is the infamous craze pub. I'm looking at Danny as I say this. This is the infamous pub where, is it Reggie or Ronnie? Hey, I should know by now. One of the craze shot somebody in the it head. Ronnie, oh yeah, in 1966, Ronnie Craze. Shot George Cornell and the Blind Beggar. I seen the movie with the one actor who played both of them. He just walked in real crazy, like didn't even say nothing. In the bonds in that pub, and Danny went in there yesterday. He says, but it's still quite a dingy pub. Mate, it's ropey, so ropey. You need to get back in there. You actually we'll said it was a bit of a shithole, didn't you? Oh, mate, it's grim inside. It's probably the grimmest one I've done on my whole pub visits. I'm You're like joking, say, mate. You've been to some grim pubs. Been to state pubs, everything that. Like, it's like honestly, it's like the. Um, I'm surprised there's still like blood on the floor. When, the place I've seen them all. When, uh, <laughs> when, when it opens, we're at about 20 past 11 now, when it opens later on, we'll pop in and show you the dingiest pub that Honest Places has ever visited. What's it like as a place to live, like in general? Depends, doesn't it? I mean, you keep yourself to yourself, it's like anywhere else, I suppose. It's yeah, a little bit 100%. If you mind your own business and staying out of trouble, more than likely, the percentages are with you. You'll be cool. Yeah. People told me it was a bit of a rough borough. It is, yeah. It is, is that the truth, yeah? people and all that shit, yeah. Yeah. So. Okay, yeah. Do you feel safe living here? Sometimes not, no. So you can see here, folks, that people told me that Tower Hamlets 
is the roughest borough in London. When it is right next to the city of London, you've got the old gherkin there. Old Wendell has never seen the gherkin in the flesh before. No. I was actually a little bit excited for a second when I saw it. Which one's Alan Sugar's one? Tower of Hamlet. Hey, is Alan Sugar's in the gherkin, any? Is he, is he in there now? I don't know. I know he's in one of the top buildings. I bet you he don't come down the Bengal markets, mate. Danny, yeah. I've spotted a dodgy pub. 100%, yeah. Supreme content for honest places. The man of arms, folks. To be honest, we've been traipsing around all day, around these pretty grim parts of uh, East London. I think it's about time for a pint in a dodgy pub. Let's do it. Strongbow, I had that before. Just walk straight down here, mate. That's what I'm doing. Checking out the area, isn't it? So, what's the name of this wonderful community pub we're in, my love? The Manor Arms. Ma Manor Arms. Also known as Bum Daddies. So, a real community pub, yeah, like yeah, a real community, community vibe. Pub, what's yeah. the community like? Good sense, good sense of togetherness. <laughs> so certain customers. Certain customers. <laughs> is this the best Guinness in the area, mate? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah. It looks yeah. fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't look anything like the Guinness when they're pouring it in America. I swear it doesn't, and that's why I don't like it. I want to taste it up there, but I'm, I'm, I'm feeling like I still won't like it, but. Still want to give it a go. Where are you from in Ireland, mate? Wasted. Okay, yeah, so you know a good pint. Yeah. That's the best looking pint I've seen in London yet. Yeah. And I had bloody Stella. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, wonder we got the same haircut. I should have had the Guinness. Look, a few, yeah. Look at that. Perfect domage. See, just above the hair. So when you take a swig, you've got to, uh, what is it, you've got to split the G or something like that? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, but a good point of Guinness, yeah? It's always above the hair. Yeah? Absolutely, yeah. The head. You want, a lot of, you want a lot of head though, don't you? you know, but, no, like, you no, want you don't creaminess. want a lot of head. You're not getting the point, are you? Yeah, but you want the creaminess. The you want the, the viscosity, that's what you want. Yeah, yeah, but that's, that's a good point. Above the head, above the harp. Above the harp, okay. Mid, you know? Looks Proper good to point. me, mate. Yeah. That is perfect damage, no spilling. So you gotta split the G. I don't even know what that means. Like just drink down until uh until you there? The rising. Well, that's a second yeah, but yeah. Yeah. Stay up. in one sip? Oh, they, 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 you can hear. Especially them Guinnesses. She would just sack off the content and just sit near drinking them Guinness. Yeah. Easier to do, isn't it? Yeah. Easy, yeah, hundred percent. It's a thing of beauty, mate. Yes. Look at that. I've never, I've never spoken like about Michelle. a pint of Guinness for uh, like you, mate. I've never spoken about a pint of Guinness for uh, two minutes on my channel before. <laughs> The Manor Arms, rated out of 10, mate. Uh, out of 10, I don't like giving stuff 10 out of 10 just for the sake of giving stuff 10 out of 10. Just do it for my channel. Uh, I'll give it a, an eight. An eight, yeah. An eight. yeah. I think I'll give it a 7.5. I'll tell you what, it'll, be, it'll probably be a nine if we got the Guinness. We yeah. got the Guinness. Go to the Manor Arms, get yourself a Guinness. It's fantastic. You them. Seen many of the activities like uh, shoplifting activities and some of them has turn quite worse. This area, one of the safest as compared to the other areas because uh, I have seen like, heard about like some of the incidents in the White Chapel or those sort of areas. But are you born and bred around here, right? Yeah. You? What's life like here in Tower Hamlets? I've been there all my life, so. Yeah. I've been walking around and I don't think it's rough at all. You know, it's very mixed, very no, it's fine. multicultural, very eclectic. Yeah, it's fine, mate. It's good people. Safe as ours is around there. Safe as ours is. Danny. Yeah. The crown. What do you yeah. think? Well, it's got a flat roof. What's wrong with that? Well, apparently, I never knew this until recently, you should never drink in a flat roof pub. Who told you that? Everyone on the comments. Really? Wow. What's the science behind that? No idea. Never well, drink in a flat roof, roof pub. In, yeah. In a state, it's always been a flat roof. I it's don't even been. look at the roofs of buildings. Well, I never used to anymore, but now I do. It starts to annoy me now. It's open now. It's open. We've got to go in, mate. Exactly. Saloon bar, come on. Let's have half, mate. Danny's a car only man. Yeah. He's a modern... I'm in debt to you already. Modern man, yeah. I'm bankrolling this uh, little lad's day out in the, uh, in the Tower Hamlet area of London. <laughs> Looks exactly the same as the last one. Yeah, it's not one, innit? Yeah, I think it's a local place for local people. Um, and the fact that we're wandering around waving cameras everywhere <laughs> means that we're definitely not local people. Danny! Told you. Your viewers are right. Never drink in a pub with a flat roof. I'm gonna say that to the grave. Never drink in a pub with a flat roof. On to the next one. On the lads day out in Tower Hamlets. Let's go. Head screw. Ready for this one? Yeah, we were recommended by the chap that we spoke to, Shadwell, just on the precinct now, that this is a rough pub. 
Let's check it out, mate. This is what you do. You're leading. Hunger Why do you choose this pub, mate? The Hunger for Dogs. Because I chat with people, and you've got good atmosphere, and the beer's cheap, and you can't get more friendly people. Yeah, you like good proper pubs, proper yeah, atmosphere, proper, real people. Proper. What's the area of Tower Hamlets like in general? It's like in yeah, good bad. Yeah, it's a complete mix of it's a mix. Like mix. all sorts of people and all sorts of income levels. Yeah, that's what we found today. Yeah. You're gonna find a lot of it. You're gonna find a lot of it. That was an odd one, wasn't it? It was a really good pub, but fair play, they weren't interested in having vloggers in there filming. It's just that one guy, wasn't it? I think he was the landlord. Yeah, I didn't realise until after. Yeah, um, he had a word with me in Valoo and he said that it wasn't a good idea to film in there. And I'll take my hint and move on, mate. So next one is the Blind Beggar, which is the infamous cray pub that you've already been in. It's one. But old Wendell's Don't going in because when you do a touristic uh, journey through Tower Hamlets, you do a touristic uh, journey through Tower Hamlets, then you basically have to go to the Blind Beggar. So let's do it. It's ropey, mate. It is honestly. It's, it's so worse than the last pub. Mate, you'll see. You'll be in for a shock. Really? Because everyone said, oh, it's both the Great Twins pub, glorified, went in there. Worst one I've ever been in on my whole channel. Oh, 100%. And so I've watched a lot of Danny's videos. He's been in some ropey pubs. And you're telling me this. Is, I, I thought it was quite a touristy pub. I thought it's been gentrified. You're telling me that the Blind Beggar, the Cray Twins pub, is the worst one you've been in? Yeah, honestly. It's like it hasn't been done up since that guy got shot in the head. I'm not, not joking. <laughs> it, the, the leather seats are torn apart. The, the ceiling is like painted in like a tacky red sort of thing. It's a shit hole. Oh, mate, it's grim. But. It's decent, it's got to be gone. It's okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Blind beggar next stop. What sells well? Uh, Guinness, Madrid, Star of Pramina would be, I'd say, our top three. Is your Guinness good? Guinness is good, yeah. I'll have a Guinness. Well, yeah. with your accent, mate, I'll take it. Where in Ireland you from? I wouldn't lie to you. Uh, Belfast. Okay, I was in Belfast six or eight weeks ago. I made oh, yeah? a video over there, yeah. I'm hoping in a minute you'll tell me a little bit about the spot where George Cornell was shot and all that. There's nothing wrong with this boozer. Oh, here we go. Not really like the ceiling. I love the ceiling. It's the uh, best thing about the pub. I told you, what people think might be rough to someone, might not be able to. Uh, this, is, this is the original ceiling, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It's not that bad. I mean, red is crazy for a ceiling, like, but I mean, I guess. It's amazing. The splitting on that one. Is that gonna split it? Split what? The G? I'll split the G, mate. Are you doubting my ability to split the G in a Guinness? Uh, See if give you a logo on the phone. Oh, yeah. so there's, there's a big uh, debate in Ireland whenever I go yeah. about whether there should be a shamrock in the Guinness or not. Yeah. You're a true Irishman and you put one in, so you're on. So the, the reason I put it in, I mean, this is a big tourist pub. Yeah. You get a lot of like Americans and stuff coming through, and like even like when the, the Guinness rap was here, and he said to me, he like they don't want pubs there no. like for that because it goes up on Instagram and it can like impact like their brand image and stuff. I was like, come on, like the yeah. tourists love it. Like, oh, the Yanks will love that, that one. Like, yeah. 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 Anyway, I'm gonna try and split the G. Can you hold the camera for me, mate? While yeah. I try and uh, should we take on some rock and split the G? How many gulps is it meant to be? So I've got a bit. You gotta try to actively get it to the G, that's tough. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, you've gotta get the black line oh. here. That's it a, depends, it's a man, of gulps. So three big gulps or there are two big ones and a smaller. Like, Let's go. Oh, uh, no chance. No, just under. Undershot it, mate. <laughs> that's a fine part against my friend, yeah. This is the spot. This is the spot. Yeah. So if you notice behind you, we've got a ladies' toilet here, and we've got a ladies' here. Yep. So back in the 60s, one of these was the ladies, one of them was the gents. Where the gents is here was an entrance to the pub. So this is the door that Ronnie Cray came through. George Cornell was sat here, and as he's come in, he shot him four times here. If you look behind you, in the picture frame, yep. that's the wallpaper that was in the pub in 66. That's amazing, yeah, and that's, that's, the that's where the bullet landed. If you look just over your head, yeah, there's one there. Another one there. That was the warning shot fired. Okay. As they come in. So he shot a warning shot first. The warning shot fired because it wasn't actually Ronnie that fired that. It was yeah, uh, a guy that came in with the main body. He fired the warning shot. Um, Ronnie 
Charles so, so, so Cornell was an old like school friend of she, Cray he, and he ended up going with a different uh, he was, he was crew he was part of gang yeah, yeah. Um, they were scrap metal dealers in South London um, but your man Cornell he was like from around here yeah um, yeah like he's still family and stuff in the area yeah um, but I've, I've, that's amazing history so, so right there and he would have fell here uh, yeah. yeah. I used to have an old photo that was taken shortly after and somebody robbed it last week. Really? Yeah. They robbed it from the pub? Just had like an old, like, like an old laminate photo was taken from just back there. Yeah. It showed you like the layer of the bar. Yeah. Like, the blood, so, yeah. Really? Yeah. What history, mate? Really what history? Of my life. Yeah. Yeah. How many times a day do you have to do this? Depends on the week, man. Sometimes it's a dozen, sometimes it's like maybe a couple of hundred times a week. Yeah. Depending on what shift I'm on. Cheers. So this is uh, this is probably why this is worn it's out so much. Because so many people stand here and do this. And that's the actual wallpaper with the bullet hole with the shot that killed George Cornell. From uh, the gunner for craze. Well, there you go, mate. That's worth the uh, expensive pint price in itself, isn't it? Probably explains why the cylinder's red, man. Keep cleanup down. Splatter. Yeah, I suppose you can't make price history. You can't, mate. Is that guys? Put that near The Blind Beggar, mate, you told me it was the worst pub you've been in on uh, Honest Places, and I thought it was a cracking boozer with great Guinness. Exactly, it just shows if you want to go into a pub, don't listen to what anyone says, just go in if you want to go in, simple as. <laughs> Sketchy little alley. I actually find that lot, a lot of the community around here is really nice. To me, I liked how Hamlet's like, even though, like, as it's up as it sounds, but I think a lot of the community around here is nice. It's a lot, I've been in a lot of Good community, yeah. 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 Okay, yeah. That's interesting, because people told me it was a really rough place, but everyone I'm bumping into is not saying that, so, yeah. yeah. So, Danny, we've uh, circumnavigated the length and breadth of Tower Hamlets. My viewers voted, the majority voted that Tower Hamlets was the roughest area in London. What do you think, mate? I have been to many places in London, but it's definitely not the uh, roughest I've been to, personally. No, no I was in Croydon. Yeah, I think Croydon's worse, for sure. Croydon three or four weeks ago, and, you know, From many comments said, Croydon's not the roughest place, you need to go to Tower Hamlets, or here or there. And honestly, Croydon felt probably more intimidating to walk around, get interviews. Many people have been happy to talk to me in Tower Hamlets. We've been to some interesting and some welcoming, some not local pubs, but they still had local character. There's a really multicultural community here, predominantly Muslim, Bangladeshi, but you know, like that brings a lot of vibrancy to the community as well. So this, this is a really lively, vibrant part of London, away from the typical tourist trail and I've enjoyed hanging out with you as well mate so if you if you haven't watched Danny's channel or Broadward Farm Estates Broadward whatever you say it oh before it's called Honest Places he goes to a lot of the uh... alright uh, leave a like comment I'm gone